Hi everyone, I'm John and welcome to the Fit Life channel. This video is part two of a three part series where I do a long term review of three popular handheld tripods for your Sony smartphone and digital cameras. For this video, I will continue with the UFO Photo Pro 2 handheld tripod. I will go over its features, its long term durability, and some positive and negative things that I've experienced with it while vlogging and recording videos for the past several years. All right, let's get this video started. I'm out doing a morning hike. It's very nice and windy. Let's go over some of the features of the Photo Pro UFO 2 tripod. Photo Pro advertises it as a durable and sturdy rubber coated tripod that can be bent into any shape and wrapped around almost any surface including smooth ones and tree branches. That is the main selling point for this tripod. Just like the Ulanzi MT-16, it can be used with DSLRs, smartphones and action cameras. It's made out of metal, high density rubber and plastic and weighs around 280 grams. It can be bought for around $25 US currency. It also comes with a smartphone holder so you can mount your smartphone. It's very sturdy. However, the only issue are these rubber paddings right here. I've had them come off numerous times and you can see that I even tried to glue them back. So you might have to use uh, a different smartphone holder if you plan to vlog or record videos with one. Let's go over the parts and their function for the UFO 2 tripod. Here's the mounting pad for your smartphone or camera with a rubber padding to protect it. A 1 4th inch screw. This is the tension knob to loosen or tighten the ball head mount in a 360 degree rotation pattern. A counterclockwise movement will loosen the ball head mount and a clockwise motion will tighten it. This is the housing for the ball head mount and the rest of the tripod is basically these three rubber legs. So you can also use this as a regular tripod or you can bend the three legs into different positions so that it can be attached to a variety of surfaces. And at the bottom of the tripod legs, you have these tripod feet, which feel very solid as well. Wait a second. I still need this tripod to finish off this video. So can't use this hammer to check its durability. So how about its long-term durability? Hopefully you can see in this video, it still looks very new. I'm surprised at how great it still looks. And I've used this a lot outdoors. It has endured many long hours recording video in the sun and from my sweaty hands. But you can tell looking at this finish here on the rubber grip, it has held up very well for the past several years. Everything still works and it's very nice and tight. You can see here even the ball head mount is stiff. The tension knob locks down the ball head mount without moving even after several years. The only issue with its long-term durability is that some of the tripod legs don't lock into place like this one. However, this one still does and this one does too. So what are some positive things about this tripod that I've experienced in the past several years? It does very well for handheld vlogging, but it's not as long as the Ulanzi MT-16. If you're using a camera with a 24 millimeter focal length and up, depending on how long your arm is and you're holding out to vlog, it might still have a tight shot on your face. All right, I'm gonna take a little break from my trail run hike. And this is a good time to see how the UFO 2 looks like with the Sony ZV-1 and its 24 millimeter focal length. My arm is fully extended and the UFO 2 has a slight bend to it. So it's not as long as the Ulanzi MT-16, but looking at the screen here, my face isn't too close compared to just holding the ZV-1 handheld. 
This is what the ZV-1 looks like while vlogging with my arm fully extended and using its 24 millimeter focal length and steady shot. And despite me mentioning that the tripod legs for the UFO-2 might be a bit short, it's still a lot better than something like this Sony shooting grip with Remote Commander. You can see the difference in their lengths if you want to do something like vlogging. This has a definite advantage over this one. The second positive thing about this tripod is how well balanced it feels compared to the Ulanti MT-16 if I want to go ahead and vlog with it. Even with something heavy like my ZV-10 and the Sony Zeiss lens, it doesn't feel like all the weight is here, but it's actually well balanced throughout the entire tripod. So that's less of a chance of my arm being fatigued if I'm vlogging for extended periods. It can support my ZV-1 and ZV-E10 with a small to medium lens safely without worrying about it tipping over like the Ulanzi MT-16 tripod. Most of the weight for this tripod is here in the legs. They feel very solid and not flimsy like the Ulanzi one. If you remember from part one, you can see here just how thin and cheap feeling the tripod legs are for this tripod. Probably the most positive and useful feature that I found from this tripod is its ability to bend its tripod legs into various positions. So having this ability is very useful when you're vlogging yourself and you want to get some unique shots instead of just holding it handheld for your entire video. As I mentioned throughout this video, the UFO2 handheld tripod is excellent for attaching to various objects and surfaces. Where it does very well is at the gym. So maybe some of you remember that I started out my YouTube channel doing fitness videos and the UFO2 was one of the tripods that I use frequently to make those videos. Because I was recording a lot of those videos on my own, it helped me get unique angles that I couldn't do with a traditional tripod. So if you're somebody who has their own fitness channel or perhaps you like to share your workouts on social media, the UFO2 will help you get those unique angles to really help you stand out amongst the millions of other fitness videos out there on YouTube. PhotoPro advertises that this tripod can be bent into any position and used on slope and slick surfaces. But is that true or just marketing hype? And that claim brings up some negative things about this tripod. The first negative thing about this tripod, it doesn't feel very secure on smooth surfaces. You have seen throughout this video that the UFO2 tripod grips very well on something like this tree branch with a rough textured surface. It can even support my ZV-E10 with a medium weight lens safely just like this but it does poorly on smooth surfaces such as metal and like this laminated desk here. I can never get a secure grip with all three tripod legs. It feels like it might just fall at any moment. The tripod legs have this textured surface for grip, but it's smooth. So this is probably why I can't obtain a confident sturdy position on smooth surfaces without worrying about it falling down. PhotoPro's claims of being able to use it on smooth and slick surfaces is questionable. So to avoid damaging your smartphone or camera, stick to rough, textured, and dry surfaces. However, it does well on smooth, thin surfaces where the tripod legs can be fully wrapped around them. So the second negative thing about this tripod, it does okay in tripod mode, but the issue is trying to get these legs straight to keep your camera horizontally even. It will never be straight after you bend them for the first time and I've spent numerous times in the past several years trying to get them that way and I have failed every single time. If you're going to use this as a tripod on a surface such as this desk here, you might spend some time trying to get your camera into an even horizontal position. This tripod does best as a selfie stick 
and also its unique ability to be bent into any position on a variety of surfaces. And that is the main reason I recommend getting this tripod is if you're vlogging or recording videos and you wanna get unique angles of yourself or your scene. I wouldn't take PhotoPro's claim to heart that you can use this on a variety of surfaces, especially slick and slopey ones. Stick to surfaces that have a rough texture to them and you should be okay without worrying about your tripod and device falling down. That's it everyone for part two, my long-term review on the Photo Pro UFO2 tripod. For part three and the final video, I will go ahead and review the Sony shooting grip with wireless remote commander. Sony has been promoting it as an essential accessory for smartphones such as this Xperia Pro i and their ZV line of digital cameras. So let's see in that video if it's high asking price is really worth it for your vlogging and video recording needs. So go ahead and leave any questions or comments that you might have on this tripod or if you have experience yourself using it for your vlogging and video needs. Go ahead and tap that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so. And until next time, stay safe, keep learning. I'll see you in part three.